Hello. In this video, we're going to show that the limit as theta goes to zero of one minus cos theta all over theta equals zero. Now, this limit is not immediately obvious because if we simply evaluate with theta, we'll find that cos theta is one. So one minus one will be zero. And theta, of course, is going to zero. So we'll have an indeterminate form. We'll have zero over zero. And so it's not entirely clear why this limit does equal zero. But we do need to prove this. So we need to investigate the limit. Now, the first step we're going to do is we're going to take our limit as theta approaches zero of one minus cos theta over theta. And we're going to try and find a known limit. Now, to do that, we need a little trick we're going to multiply and divide by 1 plus cos theta. Now, 1 plus cos theta is going to help us because 1 and 1 will multiply to give 1. Since this is the conjugate, we'll have minus cos theta times 1, and we'll have 1 times positive cos theta cancelling out, and then we'll have minus cos theta times cos, cos theta, giving us minus cos squared theta. So now our limit will look as follows. The limit as theta goes to zero of one minus cos squared theta all over theta one plus cos theta. Now we're still not there yet because if we evaluate this limit, it's still going to be 0 over 0. But we have made some progress because 1 minus cos theta can be rewritten. This top part can be rewritten as minus sine squared theta. Now that of course comes from the identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. And so when we rearrange that identity, we do find that the top can be substituted as minus sine squared theta. So if we write out the limit, which theta goes to zero, minus, and I'm going to write sine theta times sine theta all over theta 1 plus cos theta. Now we need to remember that one special limit we do know is sine theta over theta. Now this limit, as theta approaches zero, will equal one. And so now when we evaluate our limit, we get minus one times zero, because as theta goes to zero, sine theta goes to zero, over one plus one, which is equal to minus one times zero. Now this is not an indeterminate form, this is, in fact, equal to zero. And so we can say that the limit, our original limit here, as theta goes to zero, of one minus cos theta over theta, does indeed equal zero. Thanks for watching.